What attracts Nigerians to this place? The weather is fantastic and good business. Yes, there are many Nigerians here. What attracts them? Yeah, the country is cool. Is um, uh, there is rule of law. Mm. Everything is going well. Mm. Yes, they have uh, Oranese and Dibo here in Addis. You cook here, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. On contract. And drum food. All right. Good. Good. You can buy uh, all this cow leg, cow skin. Send it to Nigeria. It's uh, very expensive in Nigeria. It's affordable here. Yes. They send it by. They don't, by, eat. By... They don't eat it. Okay. They don't eat it. Cow skin. Cow skin. Cow leg. They don't eat it. Okay. And what other business do they come to do here? They sell uh, African food. All this wrapper, uh, uh, okay. native, all this uh, native wares. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Some of us, we have our businesses. If you look here also, you can mm -hmm. see it's owned by a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. uh, you see African materials, mm -hmm. uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, guest house. Mm -hmm. It's owned by a Nigerian. So okay. there are a lot of things to do here. Mm -hmm. Please kindly subscribe, like the video, and press the notification button. Okay, I'm here in uh, Nigerian Embassy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. That's it. All right, guys, so let's head on to Nigerian restaurant here. Okay? Can you find this? Can you find this? This is it. This is what I came to take. That's what yeah, they said. Yeah. You know here? When, when I called them, they said... Uh, mm -mm. Uh, they and also the, they yeah. said we can call yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. So I just called him. Okay. So, okay. So, I just uh, called him. Yeah, you see? Mm -mm. Oh, you just no, called them? Oh, you, you googled it? Yeah, uh, there is a phone number. Uh -huh. 8123. All right, that's good. 8123. So we can go there now. Uh -huh. So, guys, let's head on to Nigerian restaurant in Addis Ababa. In most countries I visit for the first time, I always visit Nigerian embassy or consulate to get a reliable information of where I want to go or visit. Having arrived in Ethiopia with no contact of any Nigerian living here, we certainly know that to get in touch with Nigerians living here is to visit a Nigerian restaurant in the city. We were just recommended by Nigerian Embassy to visit Malaika restaurant. So let's go to Malaika restaurant and see if it's a meeting point for Nigerians living in Ethiopia. Very nice. Every embassy is in Addis. Really? That means... Yeah, Africa, uh, everything about, uh, in Addis. Mm -hmm. Not the second city or uh, other everything is in Addis. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's become Okay. Uh, Malaika, that's it. That's Malaika here. <laughs> is it? This is it. Okay. Uh, we just found the Nigerian restaurant here. Okay, we're just in Nigerian. A restaurant, Nigerian restaurant here. You can see, beautiful place. Hello. Hello. Oh, the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get there and put up. Okay. It's a journalist. My dad. Sorry. Yeah. Ah. Huh? Why is that here? That's the owner of the place. Where is it? Hey, now. I'm sorry. Huh? Interesting. Wow. Lovely place. Hello, where's my friend? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's okay. So let's have uh, a local drink. A local, uh, is this a uh, Ethiopian local drink, right? Ooh, so I'm having an uh, Ethiopian local drink and the name is, what's the name? It's called Hawesha. Gold. Sorry? Hawesha. Hawesha. Habasha. Habasha. Yes. That's the name of this drink. Mm. Have you tasted it before? Have you tasted this drink? No. no. You can't tell me how it tastes. Mm. I'm fruit, fruit No, you don't take alcohol. 
<laughs> Ethiopian women are so beautiful. You can see this lady. She's so beautiful. All right, guys. So let me have this drink and see how it is. This uh, Ethiopian local beer. Mm. Mm. That's nice, I think. That's nice. I think it's well refined. That's my rating. <laughs> ah, lovely. Oh la la. This is Onumu soup. Do you know what this, the name of this soup? Do you know the name? This is Onumu soup. <laughs> and this is Eva. And plantain. And chicken. <laughs> so, bon appetit. Enjoy, enjoy your food, Italian. <laughs> Have you tested it before? Yes, you do. Huh? You're from where? From Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Ah, Ivory Coast. Yes. All right. Yeah. You guys eat this one too? Ah, uh, no. I just eat it here. My country don't have it. Like okay, you started eating it here? Yes. All right, good. And it tastes nice, right? Very nice. <laughs> Very bitter. Very bitter, huh? Yeah. That's why it's called bitter leaf. Yeah. Okay, enjoy. All right, guys, let me enjoy the food, right? Hello. Did I enjoy the meal? Yes, I certainly did. But the bill was far above my budget. Well, I couldn't finish the food, so I called for takeaway. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you guys next time I visit. Alright, bye bye. So, guys. Nice portrait. Alright, okay, guys. So let's get to another um, another Nigerian restaurant after this one. So let's head on straight. And I would like to introduce you guys to the cook. That's the that's the cook. That's my food. I made a uh, takeaway. And that's the cook, Mr. Yeah. Obi. Obi. Mr. Obi, how does it feel living in uh, Ethiopia? Ethiopia is a very nice place. The weather really? is fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. You cook here, right? Yeah. Okay, I cook on contract. Nigerian food. All right, good. good. What, what? Do we have much Nigerians in, yeah. in Addis Ababa, in yes. Ethiopia generally? Yes, they have uh, Oranese and Dibo here in Addis. Really? Yes. And uh, what attracts Nigerians to this place? What attracts Nigerians to this place? The weather is fantastic and good business. Okay. Yes. What kind of business is that? You can buy uh, all this cow leg, cow skin, send it to Nigeria. It's uh, very expensive in Nigeria. Oh. Yes. Okay, it's affordable here. Yes. They sell it by. They don't, by, eat. By... they don't eat it. Okay. They don't eat it. Cow skin. Cow skin, cow leg. They don't eat it. So they send it by by air or by. By how? cargo. Air cargo. Yeah. All right. Ethiopian Airways. Oh, interesting. And what other business do they come to do here? They sell uh, African food, all this wrapper, uh, uh, okay. native, all this uh, native wares. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, they have native wear here. Yes. Oh. They have native wear. Okay. Yes. That's inter interesting. It's all right. So guys, let's let uh, Obina take us to. I mean, lead us to where to meet more other Nigerians. Yes. And that's the cab, right? The cab. Okay, this one. Yes. All right. All right. Okay, brother. Thank you. I realized that Malaika African Cuisine and Grills is not originally a Nigerian restaurant but an affiliate. So I compelled Obina to direct us to a typical Nigerian restaurant where we could find Nigerians. Meanwhile, Malaika African Cuisine and Grills is an elegant restaurant where diplomats wine and dine. So let's head on to a typical Nigerian restaurant in Ethiopia. Oh, 
ู้เหลือค่ะอะไรกันสวีอ่ะอินโอมาเลชาร้านอาหารและเราจะนำผู้ผลิตมาให้เราดูภาพของร้านนี้ว้าวนี่คือร้านไนจีเรียนอาหารไนจีเรียนร้านขายของไนจีเรียนร้านขายของไนจีเรียนร้านขายของไนจีเรียนร้านขายของไนจีเรียนร้านขายของไนจีเรียนร้านขายของไนจีเรียนร้านขายของ Oh la la, lovely place. Oh, no music, no music. So I leave, no music. YouTube. That's the owner here, guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna meet him right away. So we talk. So let's look out for the owner of the place. Oh yeah. So, brother. We tap into. We saw your picture there, so yeah, yeah. the portrait. Yeah. And we already know you're the owner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> May I introduce yourself, please? Okay. Uh, we're disturbing you no, eating. No, no problem. I hope you don't no, mind. No problem. All right. Yeah. It's... I'm Ezi mm. the owner and PRC owner of uh, Amacha Trading Investment Limited. We're known in Ethiopia. This is our branch. Our main office is in Hayat Plaza, UN. This is mm -hmm. our main office, and we have been operating in Ethiopia for almost 20 years, and uh, dealing in raw foods, and uh, um, this uh, jewelry shops and uh, African attires, and also restaurant, and also exporting and importing. We normally export bobo to Nigeria, that is cow head and skin. A myriad of things. We are into Ethiopian business for nearly, nearly two decades with my children also. So we yeah, are talking to High Chief Okechuku Majago, the Zibo Buluburu of Ethiopia. You yeah, are welcome, brother. Thank you. Wow, we can eat. We <laughs> actually personally, I enjoyed uh, his uh, lines. I mean, his statements. And of course, when he says uh, High Chief, guys, you can see. The man here is actually a high chief because only the hair alone could tell that he's a high chief. High chief Okechuku Wajago is the ace Igbo in Ethiopia, otherwise the Igbo chief in Ethiopia. We conducted an exclusive Igbo interview with him concerning the affairs of Nigerians living in Ethiopia, but on a separate episode. All right, yes, we have our brother here, and um, he is the. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Chief Chibo Anyasa. Uh, I reside here in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Are there more Nigerians here? First of all, let's, let's ask that. Yes, there are many Nigerians here. What attracts them? Yeah, the country is cool. Is um, uh, there is rule of law. Mm. Everything is going. Well, mm. yeah. Okay, we can understand that um, some people might watch this and then they might think, start thinking about Ethiopia. They might st because Nigerian economy is in a little bit shamble, okay? And then some of our youth are trying to jet off the country. Okay. Some of them watching this video, they might start thinking about Ethiopia. What would you, what would you advise any Nigerian that might think so? Well, uh, if you think about coming and coming to Ethiopia, mm. you must also know that uh, Ethiopia there is high cost of living here, uh, not unknown like Nigeria. Uh, and uh, going to a place that you don't have your mother, you don't have your father, you don't have your farm to get your food and all those all those things, you have to plan very well. Mm. Okay, so and uh, business here. It must be, it's not like Nigeria that you can just open your shop and uh, do whatever you want to do. Here, you must go through the process, normal process. So before coming, you must make your inquiry. Yeah. Okay. And then what do you think, what do Nigerians do here in Ethiopia? Uh, we, some of us, we have our businesses. If you look here also, you can see, it's owned by a Nigerian, uh, you see African, 
materials, mm. uh, restaurant, mm. and the guest house. Mm. It's owned by a Nigerian, so okay. there are a lot of things to do here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah, but you must plan very well before coming. Before coming. Yes. Is there anything uh, they can export from here to Nigeria, mm. or import from Nigeria to? Ethiopia. Import is very difficult. Okay. You have to, you have to go, get your import license first. Mm. Yeah, and it's very difficult. It's like monopolized here yeah, also. So export, we, yes, you can, if you still have the license also. Everything you do here must go normal process. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. All right. Thanks for having us. Thank you on, the, on this channel. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to Next Media. Thank you. Thank All right. you. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah.